The artificial intelligence race has been fast and hairy. The ChatGPT launched last year led to a massive technological race akin to the space race of the 50s and 60s. So many competitors have sprung up, but one of the world's largest companies, Amazon, has been slower than most. That is, until now. Amazon had been lagging behind the competition and was suspiciously quiet in a market that was so noisy. But there's method to the madness. In September, Amazon announced a $4 billion investment into Anthropic, an open AI spin-off that builds language models and chatbots that use them, notably Claude 2. But Amazon haven't stopped there. Amazon are well known for running one of the world's largest cloud servers in AWS, a business that does over $80 billion in revenue, and hence they have crazy amounts of data and information. Clearly, AI has been a hot topic, but Adam Selipsky, the chief executive of Amazon Web Services, has reiterated corporate concerns around data privacy, saying, Many companies told me that they had banned these AI assistants from the enterprise because of the security and privacy concerns. That brings us onto Amazon Q, Amazon's new generative AI assistant designed for the workplace, designed for B2B customers, and more importantly, designed with security and privacy at its heart. Amazon Q is a tailored AI system that allows users, mostly business employees, to have conversations, solve problems, generate content, and gain insight using a company's code and internal resources. The idea is to streamline corporate tasks, which in turn accelerates decision-making and improves efficiencies. Another core feature of Q is that it is tailored to each business, whether that be in pricing, in responses, or in which interactions each employee can have. For example, the CEO needs access to confidential files that an analyst does not, and Q allows for that by following permissions of each business. However, because Q is built using data from AWS, it will never use customer content to train its models, helping with privacy concerns. Q aims to be the principal B2B chatbot, but will face stiff competition from Copilot, Duet AI, and ChatGPT Enterprise. So how does Amazon's Q work? Well, companies will give permission to Amazon to work with their corporate data as well as connect to messaging services like Slack and Gmail. Unlike most AI chatbots, Amazon Q isn't built on a specific AI model. Using Amazon's Bedrock, which connects AI systems together, including Amazon's Titan and Anthropic's language models. It's called Q for two reasons. Firstly, it's a play on the word question, but secondly, it's a hat tip to Q in James Bond, who makes helpful, stealthy tools to help the protagonist on his quests. Pricing starts at $20 per user per month, cheaper than Microsoft and Google's $30 price point. But what is Amazon Q actually used for? Amazon Q has been designed to help business users across finance, marketing, and all other functions within a business, whether it's creating summaries from large chunks of text, to transforming a press release to a blog post, or tweaking language to fit a company's brand. Users can connect plugins like ServiceNow, Salesforce, and Zendesk to ensure every platform across the business is synced. Sounds good right? Well, shortly after launching, Q faced problems. Amazon employees came out saying that the chatbot was experiencing severe hallucinations, meaning the AI is posting inaccuracies, believing they're facts. Employees suggested that Q was also releasing confidential, unreleased features, as well as revealing locations of AWS data centers. However, Amazon squashed these rumors shortly after they were published. Q is a clear positive for AWS, particularly as users can ask, how do I build a web application using AWS? The system is built using 17 years of Amazon Web Services knowledge. Q learns about a business including org structures, concepts, and product names, and Q can take actions on a user's behalf, streamlining their day and automatically generating service tickets or notifying different teams about the completion of a project, as well as updating ServiceNow dashboards. Will Q work? That's the question after all. That being, will Q actually compete against rivals, or is this just another chatbot? The key thing for Amazon and Q will be if businesses take Q on board, trusting Amazon with confidential data, and if they do, will they implement and use Q properly? Only time will tell. As far as Amazon are concerned, we think Q has the potential to become a work companion for millions and millions of people in their work life.